Hey, remember that guy? The guy that was all over the place and then not so much? Who was that guy? Oh. First time you've seen that, Jill? That was nice. All I right. watch the show regularly. Oh, sure but, you do. Um, just sure not on you do. Nights. Yeah, show or lying. Like <laughs> anyway, rap duo Insane Clown Posse tells TMZ they've hired Charlie Sheen as their MC for their annual gathering of the Juggaloos Festival in August. For all of you normal people out there, a Juggaloo is the name given to fans, groupies, and general weirdos that love these rapping clowns. Am I mispronouncing it? Yeah. Juggalos? Juggalos? Oh, whatever. Anyway, the festival is a four I don't care, I really don't. The festival is a four day concert known for crappy music and even crappier, or maybe awesome behavior. I can't make up my mind. Last year, celeb guest Tila Tequila unfortunately was bloodied on stage when fans pelted her with rocks, beer cans, and Reese's pieces. Wait, that doesn't sound so bad. They threw candy at her? Oh, I misread it. They, it says they threw feces. <laughs> My mistake. That is actually pretty bad. Anyway, I think we should discuss this in our lightning round. Lightning round. John, um, John. Yes, Greg. Could this be the best combination of awfulness ever? Uh, it's uh, uh, taking t Charlie Sheen and dropping him into the Insane right. Clown F Posse Festival. I hope it's a riot. Uh, it's, uh, it's, I, I it, hope they eat him. <laughs> I hope they start the stage, and it's like some kind of Dionysian thing, and they tear him apart and eat him. I don't know, Tom. I think that Sheen says he really gets the message of the festival. I, there is a message to the festival, and I think it, it, it does kind of coincide with Charlie Sheen's yes, message. Yes, it does. I understand, I, and I yeah. believe he, well, he said he, he believed in the message of the festival, so he lowered his fee. Yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> what is his fee now? I mean, he's out of work. He's, he's, does he have a... Uh, he's got to have, he's got to be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Yes. Right? yes. But what's his fee? I yeah, mean, yeah. Like, his asking price, I don't understand that Charlie Sheen has, yeah, who wants him besides insane clown posse? Well, you know, I guess his tour didn't do too well at the end, right? Or just kind of... Petered out. I petered out. Yeah. But I think you are a juggalo, Jill. So were you offended by the things I said? I apologize. <laughs> no, I think it's the word juggalo that's causing this whole problem because he's like, gigolo? So I can get paid to spend time with goddesses? I'm there. And it's juggalo, not gigolo. See, he's a little confused. Either way, I can't wait till you paint up your baby. Yeah, that'll you know, be awesome. Thanks concerts. for pointing out there's a baby on the way, by the way. This don't, isn't. I don't think it's that hard it's to hide. It's not just the gelato yeah, yeah, that yes, we had during yeah. the Bill, we do probably have some Juggalo fans out there, and uh, I'm sure many of them are decent people, right? Nah. No? no <laughs> Come no, on. No, 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 no. They're families. Oh, oh good Lord, no. no. Oh, absolutely <laughs> I not. disagree with they you. They are nothing but criminals that have not been put in jail yet. No, right? that's not true. Yes. <laughs> really? uh, well, I, I love the way our intern pitched this story. It was a great story, but he goes, well, he started off with, well, it looks like Charlie Sheen's moving up in the world and I'm thinking to myself this is a lot of things but this is a Charlie Sheen moving up in the world you know that wasn't pitched by an intern it was that was pitched by one of our new employees Michael oh Michael I thought it was Andrew uh, no it wasn't Andrew no. it was Michael you, I noticed you said intern because you didn't remember Andrew's name yeah yes, yes. I did I actually mm. know Andrew so well that I I kind of call him you adopted I, I adopt him he's living in my apartment he's a Pisces <laughs> who likes long walks on the beach and isn't afraid to cry in a <laughs> sad movie Greg right. I knew that uh, I'll stick it for the jugglers now. all right Somebody has to. I will. Uh, I've never heard a single song except for that one on YouTube. Magic. Magic. That's the and only song I've ever heard. Something about Fanta, I'm sure. They're yeah. a bunch of violent, lovable freaks, and the thing about it is that Charlie Sheen looks down on them. I yeah, guarantee you. that's true. He looks down on them. because he's, well, he's a spoiled Hollywood prince. But they're also yes. like billionaires. Those guys are yeah, massively, yeah, yeah. massively yeah. successful. Yeah. I read about them in Business Week. Well, good for you, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> <laughs> they reflect, no, the, the, the it's What's same the article like? <laughs> the, it was, it was, it was to, a business article. We're never going to get off the story. But the, 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 the insane cloud, they reflect some, the, some, that sweaty, disjointed energy that Sheen mistakes for his own genius. Yes. You know, when he's talking and he's thinking, he just thinks he's really smart. That's what it is. <laughs> Don't know what I just said. <laughs> All right. A $76,000 engagement ring has been returned to the Dallas Cowboys player Roy Williams by ex-girlfriend Brooke Daniels. Williams had sent the ring and a taped marriage proposal in an overnight package to her back in February. She said no, but kept the ring, so Williams sued her. But thank goodness this mess was settled before it went to court. Jill, um, should she have kept the ring? Because that is a that's a really dumb proposal, don't you think? 
It is a bad proposal. And you know what? You Guys, this is why you do it in person, because you can just yank yeah. the ring yeah. right Seriously. back if she says no. But yeah. ladies, don't keep the ring. It's meant to symbolize eternal commitment. If you don't want to commit to the guy, give him the ring back. Come on. You've taken enough from him. <laughs> you damaged wow. his pride. Wow. Someone's done this before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, after I got sued, I started singing this too. What's the story, right here. Lady. Yeah. yeah. How many, okay. Whose heart did you six just in my destroy? Jewelry box. Come on, girlfriend. <laughs> my Dish. goodness. At 76 grand, Tom, to a millionaire is nothing, right? I know. Obviously, he doesn't need it, but uh, I think Jill's <laughs> right. that I think if you say no, uh, you've got to give the ring back. But if you say yes, and then he does something wrong, yeah. then you can keep it. Ah. I think Judge Judy would would agree with what I just said. I think so, too. This I'm is like a Judge Judy case. It's it, it really is. Somebody like a Judge Judy well, yeah. or, a, or a Wapner, he, that's who should decide this So the, what you're saying is our show isn't right for this story. No, I mean, if we, if we could make a decision. I mean, yeah. if, if Greg, if you could come down with a gavel, yeah. uh, you know, that would Quickly, be Quickly, I've, I've got like 30 seconds. Yeah. Do you have an opinion on this? No. No? no, no, no. <laughs> that made it easy. Bill, uh, dumbest man alive? Dumbest man alive, maybe then she should keep the ring. I also don't think he's got a lot of money in the bank. FedExing like an 80, FedExing a ring, I, I wouldn't, I don't know. Was it because he Possession thought it was a good way? Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Did he right. think it was a good way to propose, or was he busy and he just had to FedEx it? He was probably both. I wonder what do I know? Judy was All right, we got to move on. Remember to check out the new Red Eye podcast. There's a new one every day to catch them. Go on foxnewsradio.com and click on Red Eye. Tonight we talked about uh, my obsession with Airline, the TV show on Lifetime Women. Yeah. I watch it a lot. 